Really give you an overview of uh, what happened. We had a parking garage here that's collapsed. Chief Esposito is the incident commander here, and he's going to give an overview of exactly what happened. I'm joined by the city council member and the borough president uh, that represent this area, as well as the police commissioner, uh, exactly uh, to really respond to this uh, incident. At this time, we only have one DOA. Uh, but I, I do want to point out that, thank God, we had uh, the uh, robotic dog that was able to go in the building. This is ideally what we talk about, uh, not sending a human being inside a building that's unstable. Uh, we were also able to use the technology of a drone uh, to give a real visualization of what is happening in this building. At this time, this building is completely unstable, and uh, the chief, did, uh, we do not want to send in someone until we can make sure the building is shored up. But using uh, the necessary technology, we're able to get a clear view of what's happening inside the building for the most part and do whatever we can uh, to see if there are any more victims. Right now, as I indicated, we have one confirmed DOA and uh, Chief Esposito will give you an overview of what else we have on the ground and what's taking place. Chief? Uh, good afternoon, John Esposito, the Chief of Operations for the Fire Department. Uh, as far as we can tell so far, we have six patients. There were six workers uh, in the building at the time of the collapse. Four of them have been transported to the hospital in stable condition. Uh, we have uh, one patient that, is, uh, that has died, and we have one patient that refused medical attention. Uh, this was a, an extremely dangerous operation for our firefighters. Uh, we responded to a call of a collapse in the building. Uh, we had firefighters inside the building conducting searches. Uh, the building was continuing to collapse. Uh, we made the decision to remove all our people from the building. Um, our robotics unit happened to be nearby. Uh, they were on scene very quickly. Uh, we deployed our robot dog into the building. They were able to give us a video uh, inside, and then we were able to fly our drones inside uh, to conduct an assessment and conduct searches. Uh, although we continue to make sure that we have everybody accounted for, at this time we believe that we have uh, the workers that were in danger in the building all accounted for, all out of the building, uh, and that structure is very unstable. We've had, it's a parking garage, we've had uh, some of the slabs, uh, a couple of floors of the, the concrete slab floors uh, collapse, crush some of the cars that are inside, uh, and this will be a prolonged operation. I'm going to pass it on to uh, to the police commission. Hello. At this time, we have no reason to believe that this is anything other than a structural collapse. Obviously, that investigation will continue. Our preliminary response centered on making er this area safe. That includes traffic control and evacuating the nearby Pace University building, which was deemed unstable at that time. We will continue to work in collaboration with our partners in the fire department in this effort. Good afternoon. So, as indicated, it's a structural collapse uh, at this moment, and uh, uh, what we observed from a picture drone deployed, and we observed that there are uh, four-story building all the way pancaked collapse all the way to the cellar floor. Uh, our engineers deployed and currently checking adjoining buildings and observing uh, footage from uh, uh, drone pictures uh, to identify possible reason for collapse. Uh, we're going to, you know, continue uh, review and research property profiles to understand uh, history of the building, certificate of occupancy, and all other records, and we'll update as uh, information appear. Well, Thank you. Any, um, if there any active work permits and any violations? And uh, at this time, uh, I should mention also that there are, no, uh, there are some active violations on the building dated back to 2003, but in 2010 was application filed which not indicated violation was corrected, but it was filed. Uh, there are some active permits in the building. Uh, one of them is related to the electrical work in, uh, on the premise. Okay, so pause out the question, Dean. Um, all of that would be part of our review. We didn't have any file uh, 311 complaints on the building, and as 
uh, the acting commissioner of DOB indicated is always going to be part of the review exactly what happened here. There was no open violations on the structure. Uh, certificate of occupancy as for this building was issued in 1957 and uh, to be used at a parking garage. It's a four-story building with a cellar uh, all the way through is a parking. Uh, there's not much. Uh, we, do, we have some plans for work filed in 2010. It's the latest for installation of the lift, but uh, uh, auto lift. But uh, we currently review those plans and trying to find out what uh, they can bring it to us. Hold on, hold on, ma'am, ma'am, we, we, we'll call on you, but somebody, we called on already, okay? We don't want to be yelling out all over the place, we'll call on you. Go ahead, go ahead, my house. So, uh, command tactical unit, uh, a robotics unit, uh, when they go, either the robot dog or, or the, the drones, they're able to stream stream the video directly to our phones, directly to our command center. Uh, we're able to share that. Uh, the great part of that is we're able to put these, uh, use the technology uh, to get information and, and reconnaissance uh, without putting our firefighters' lives and our first responders' lives at risk. Uh, great advances in technology, and uh, we've used the dog before. Uh, this is the first time uh, that we've been able to fly inside uh, in a collapse to uh, uh, to do this and, and try to get us some information uh, again without risking the lives of our, our, our firefighters. Uh, continuing to do searches, there are some cars in there that are crushed. Uh, we're trying to see if we can get up close to make sure that there's nobody in those cars. But as I said before, we believe that we have everybody accounted for. Uh, we, we've sent people to the hospitals to, uh, to make sure that the people in the hospitals are the people that were working here and, and are accounted for. Uh, active, we believe active parking lot. I'm not aware that there was any construction ongoing. Uh, some of the hospitals, I'm not sure of that. We can get that for you. Uh, I'm not sure yet where all the injured was. There was uh, a, uh, a worker that was trapped on the upper floors. He was conscious and alert and moving around, calling us. Uh, he just couldn't get down, and we were able to put firefighters up there in the building and take him out uh, across the roof to another building and bring him down safely. Uh, all of that I'm not sure of yet. I don't know that there were people that were trapped. I think they were just injured, uh, with the exception of the one that we removed from the upper floors. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, we're still evaluating that at this time. Uh, that's our thought right now, but we're still looking to confirm that. At this time, we that's what we believe, and we're still working to confirm that. All part, of, all part of the investigation that DOB is going to do. Uh, we're not sure until uh, until we confirm and, and, and DOB makes their assessment that it's all safe. We believe he, yes, he was a worker in the building. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Man, we have a mechanism to let everybody when they can get back in their building. We'll make sure that you're able to get that information. Thanks a lot. Thank you.